All right, this week is week two of Playful Factory Camp, Creativity Camp, and we're focusing on cardboard toys. And one of the toys that we made in camp was our very own um, cardboard rock band. Uh, we got to make guitars and drums and whatnot, and I'm going to show you how we made our guitars. Pretty simple little uh, project. Let me just show you here. So you simply want to open up your cereal box completely so both ends and then also you'll find a ridge where the cardboard has been glued down and you'll want to open that up trying to not rip but rather to just undo the blue part not always possible but do the best you can open it all the way up and then you will want to take your masking tape or any type of jar of any type to trace and make a circle. I'm going to go ahead and use my masking tape, stick it on there and simply just trace your circle. And what you're going to do is simply cut that out, so you poke your hole, It doesn't have to be perfect, obviously, but you want it to look as nice as possible. All right, once you get your hole cut out, you want to reverse all the folds that currently exist in the box so that you can then close it up. So you reverse all the folds and then tape along all the edges and close up the box however you like. Probably it's easier to the small flaps first. So you're going to tape all the edges. At the same time I have one where the edges are taped. So I've simply just taped up the box on all the places that it was open before. Alright, now to make our, I don't know what it's actually called on a guitar, but our handlebar. We're going to use our paper towel roll, and you're simply just going to flatten it out, and then you're going to slit the paper towel roll up each side, uh, about an inch or two, not a huge deal, how big, and then you'll fold each side up, the front and the back of those slits that you just made, and what this really allows you to do is fit your handle onto the top here. So now I can tape on back and I can tape on front to really secure it down. I like masking tape because if I mess up it's usually pretty forgiving on letting me pull it up and try again. And you can put more tape on there to secure that down better. The next part is to get your guitar strings here. And these are 
um, I am using file folder for rubber bands. Uh, they're just larger, which makes it nice to stretch across the box. If you don't have those, you can go the other way on the box, go this way. I know it doesn't look as cool, maybe, or look as official like a guitar, but it does work and it makes great sound. And it's cheaper. All right. And now I just use a couple of straws as the bridge here just to raise those rubber bands up off the box because you get a better sound that way. Less twangy, I guess. And then to do my tuning, um, you can either use different sized rubber bands or um, you can also uh, simply use the tightness of the rubber bands to give you different sounds. So make this one loose, that one loose but a little bit tighter. Those are about the same. Let's see. Tighten. Tighten a lot. And you can play around with the tones and whatnot, but you have your very own cardboard guitar.